Hey everybody. First race of 2022. We're about ready to get her going. We got a full lineup. This is the uh, post vintage class 50 plus intermediate. I think we had nine guys start out in our group. Ten entries, but uh, as you can tell, we got a good start going here and come out in about fifth place, and that's right where I finished at. It was uh, by the second race, things were beat in pretty good. Them vintage guys had what mud was around, kind of beat in good. The roots were just starting to show themselves. And, uh, but the ground, it held up great. Little bottleneck right there, not sure what, who got stuck there. I think it might have been Kevin. This dude looks like he's having shifter problems or something. Able to get around him, shoot by this stump. I walked the course the day before, about three quarters of it, so I had an idea what was coming up. By this little camp here. I do remember this section coming up right in here. You'll see it. It's got a little clay base to it. It was a little slick, a little muddy, but the, it was tacky. I was running about eight pounds of pressure and tires. Felt pretty good right through there. Fellow in IT up here. Lots of freaking IT Yamahas out here. First little hill climb you get into here. I remember this from uh, races before years and uh, kind of got stuck over on the inside there real close to that tree made that turn kind of tight. We used to go up and all the way back down in the opposite direction. We, then we head out into the infamous pine section. That's a bar buster. Just kind of got to take your time out through here. Snake yourself out through here. You're not really going to make a pass. So, unless somebody pulls over and lets you by, which most of the guys are in your class when you when you get to this section, they're not going to let you by. Just kind of know that. So, I'm just kind of holding my breath, hoping the guys in front of me don't get too far out in front. Good start makes a big difference around here, especially when you got these sections early on. There, I stalled the bike out. Not sure why. I thought I didn't clutch it fast enough. It's my first time out, not hardly any seat time at all in this. Uh, it's a it's a KDX with a KX250 motor in it. There she goes. Fire back up. Got her going. I'll tell you what happened. So. Like I said, didn't get much seat time in this uh, this Kawasaki, and uh, I messed around a long time with the ignition, got getting it to stay firing on me all right and everything, and then uh, then we started working on the carburetor, got, getting the carburetor worked out. You know how it all goes. You get a decent bike, and you got to sit there and fine-tune it back and forth. Well, one thing I didn't do, I was so engrossed in getting that carburetor just right and getting the ignition good and the bike running good and everything like that. I didn't pay much attention to the rest of the bike, which I should have. And uh, I stalled it out there and I ended up st stalling this thing out about five times, letting a lot of guys by. And I felt like I was holding my own and keep, keeping up with uh, a lot of the guys that were, you know, ended up finishing in front of me. But here what I ended up doing was, uh, it wasn't me not catching the clutch fast enough. It was me uh, hammering on that back brake, which I do way too much of. But even so, it was locking down and it wouldn't release up. I actually had to take my foot and pull it back up, and then it would. Uh, it was like it was over camming, if that makes any sense. And then uh, it locked back tire up and stalled the bike out. Well, it took me a time or two before I put two and two together that it wasn't the clutch and it was the brake. I ended up stopping on like the last lap. Uh, Jamie Wright stopped and left me by and uh, told me, keep going, keep going, I got problems. And he wouldn't let me by, but 
or I mean, I should say, he left me by, and then uh, I got going again, and it was just a matter of winding that back brake out. And it's, it still would lock up, so I'm gonna tear it apart sometime here soon and uh, find out if it needs new brake pads. Uh, one fellow was telling me if they're worn down real bad that uh, they'll like over cam theirself and uh, make the bike lock up. I'm going to take it all apart and find out what the real deal is and hopefully next race I'll be able to get a little better start and, and get going. Everybody was running in our class around uh, high 17s, low 18 minute laps out here. They said it was like four and a half miles. Great course, good mix of a couple different years in different directions and uh, really enjoyed it. It was a uh, if you figure that we had all week long there was this huge cold front come through temperatures were in the low 40s most of the week with rain just about every day a little bit here and there we had snow the morning of this race nothing that was gonna lay but uh, it was just a reminder that winter ain't done yet Sneaking up over some of these uh, trails here. They don't look too bad right now, but in a couple laps them roots start to show their heads and uh, Oh, they get dang right slippery. Let me tell you One thing about video you can't really see the Steepness of the hills and whatnot But I see some guys up in front of me there I'm Pretty sure it was the guys that passed me whenever I was stalled out and uh Everybody asked me if I was all right, and I was like, yep, I'm good. Just got to get going, figure out what's the matter with this thing. I'm just getting my feet wet, getting a little seat time in this, in this, in this bike, and uh, I'm like, I'm catching them. I'm catching them. It's, you know, the dog in the bone kind of deal. So somebody up there is uh, holding them up just enough for me to catch them up. They got them stocked up like a freight train, and... Uh, I'm hell on wheels trying to catch these guys right now. I know there's a decent hill climb coming up and uh, hoping to take advantage of that. Let's go screaming up over that. But at, before that though, you got this little downhill section and right here there was like exposed shale. Kind of made it a little slick with the wet conditions. Right here was a cool hill climb. I like this one probably the best. What I did not like was at the top of this baby though. I just shoot out behind this guy. He just gets moved just in time. I wasn't sure what I was going to do there. Boy, right up here. I'll show you. Yeah. Them two roots. How many of you guys out there freaking uh, hit them and made your butt pucker a little bit? I mean, tell you what. That was slick. So I'm still catching these guys. I'm thinking, all right, got a chance, got a chance. Not sure who we are here yet. I know that's uh, Kevin Marshall out in front of me though. He has this like Punisher jersey on. It's really cool. I know he's in my class, so I want to keep up with him. I know he's always a top contender. If he doesn't win, he's always right there in the mix. So he's a good gauge of where you're at in the race. And he's he's itching to get around these two guys. I'm itching to get around all of them. Starting to feel more a little more comfortable on the bike. Really looking forward to getting out on this. Uh, it's an 81 KX motor and an 82 KDX frame. Oh, there it goes. Kevin's getting around one of them. I'm going to do my best to get in the inside of one of these guys. I'm thinking I gotta I gotta make a move right here. Got a little wide spot, go for it, get it. Alright, still got Kevin on my sights here. I'm thinking, alright. Gotta keep up. He's he's starting to pull away a little bit though. He's fast. Another IT man. No shortage of ITs out here. A lot of really good riders on them. Boy, them roots to the right got slick later on. I started hitting the left puddle more often. I noticed it was a little bit easier to transition through that ditch. 
This is one of my favorite sections on the track. You can kind of open her up, let her rip. Up over these little knolls. They're kind of steep. This one here in particular had one little kick out on it. You can pay attention right about here. That sucker like dropped down onto you. And then you could just hammer it right here. Coming out of the turn. Oh yeah. Open her up a little bit. Try to get up here. Hopefully the guy in front of you makes a mistake. Let you open the door a little bit. That's not Kevin anymore up there now. Oh yeah. Pretty sure that's Emily Reichardt. You'd hardly ever be able to tell. I mean, that girl can get it. Doesn't slow us up one iota. We're just screaming up there here, kicking rocks and mud and everything else. I'm trying to keep the lens cleared out for you guys, but um, it doesn't. It takes a little bit longer, and I want to take my hands off the bars, if you know what I mean. Thinking, I'm getting itchy, getting itchy. Thinking, all right, really like to make a move here somewhere. Not sure where. I'm starting to catch somebody else up here now. If you remember last year's course, we're right above the clear cut now, where we parked at last year, scooting across the top, and then we're gonna wind our way back down around to the left. Thanks, buddy. This section, not sure why it doesn't look hard, but it can be a little sketchy at times. Just the way the lay of the land is and the, the way the trees kind of lean in toward the path and whatnot. Here's that little clearing. I think it must be a power line or something right here we're going to go underneath. Trail splits right here. This guy gets by. That's going to leave me to try to find a way to get around Emily, which, like I said, she wouldn't hold me up. I think the trail was about four and a half miles long, they said. I had some uh, Under Armour on and a sweatshirt, I think, with my jersey and my my chest protector and stuff like that. I was pretty comfortable today in this race. I took the sweatshirt off for the dual disc race. Right here. I'm not sure what the deal was, but every time I shot out of this little section, I wanted to hang left, like she does right there, and like my momentum would carry me down to the bottom down there just about every time. I really wanted to shoot back to the left. I think I could have had a better chance at the pass right there, but um, wasn't having it. And there was one little stump up here on the first lap of this. Really caught me by surprise. I didn't didn't expect it. Right there. Kind of had to just make a hard right or left there real quick and another big stump right there. But I remember all this from last year. That was actually the very beginning of the race. All this was real familiar. The same direction as everything as it was last year. We're going to snake our way out here toward the field. I didn't walk this part of the course yesterday. But I had a good idea where it was at, what it was doing. Like I said, conditions were optimal. I mean, they were really good in this post vintage race. I expected with all the rain we had, it was just going to be a muddy mess out here. 
but it wasn't. I had the bike armor all up trying to keep the mud off. Didn't really need it at all. Should have worried more about my back brake. Tell you what, the leaves are starting to bud up. It won't be but about a race or two and we're going to be into the green leaves and uh, the shadiness in the woods and it's going to be a whole different, different race out here directly. I'm just going to give you guys a, a good full first lap. In my day kind of ended up Right here, I try to make a move on her. Get around, and I kind of feel bad right away because I get to right here, and I'm like, ah, crap. I stopped for a second. Did I need to go that way or this way? This way. I just, I know I held her up for a second. Keep going out through here, and then, uh, remember Dave saying you gotta aim for the shoots. So we're heading down through here, looking for my first shoot. There it is. Lots of photographers out here. I've seen Lorena Walker out here. Looked like she was standing on her head a few times, looking upside down, looking for the best angle, looking for the best way to find a mud splattering. <laughs> you name it. She was out hanging off a tree somewhere here and there. And so were other people, just getting the best shots. You can find them on uh, Facebook's Mid Atlantic website. I really thought this field section was going to get torn up way worse than what it did, but uh, there's a couple natural springs that run out through here, and uh, last year it got to be unbearable, but uh, oh, this year they were running, but it didn't seem like it, it got near as bad. Nice little section out through here, we're heading back down toward the creek. Nice little set of natural rum rumble strips right through here. Right down there is the creek. I'm catching somebody, not sure who it is yet. Get her in third gear coming out this road. We're going to bank her left. And then we're going to bank her left again. Right here was nice in the post vintage race. Things weren't torn up too bad. Right here got to be two huge dis ditches in the, uh, I mean, you could stand your bike up in them in the dual disc brake class. It was deep. Right now, it's uh, anybody's game and just tearing up over this little hill climb. This was nice. We're heading back toward the start finish line now. Start to see a couple of spectators, you know you're getting close. One one or two more little hill climbs here. Right before you hit the start finish line, and then uh, that's gonna be about all she wrote. We all did four laps. see if I can pull up here real quick who got what. Jim Laird's going to win our class. Kevin Marshall. Harold. I can't pronounce his last name. Sorry about that. Tommy Tippett. Myself got fifth. Jamie Wrights. Steve Winkbauer. There. Hit that back break again. Locked her up. Didn't lose any positions, but that happened to me four or five times. Sometimes worse than other. Lamar Zell and Ed Wegger. Craig Lowry didn't get his, uh, had some bad luck on his new Husqvarna 500. Hopefully we see him out here soon. All right, y'all, just about up to the uh, start-finish line. We'll uh, talk to you soon, and uh, hopefully enjoyed the video, and uh, keep them coming this year. Talk to y'all a little later.